Welcome Pisces to your March general reading. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming in for you this month. I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This gives us our core messages, our main themes for the month. And then I'm going to go ahead and clarify everything with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Now Pisces, there are going to be quite a few messages coming through. So if there is any particular message that comes through that doesn't resonate, just let it go by. However, if the reading as a whole doesn't resonate, probably just means that it's not meant to be your reading at this time and you can go ahead and watch your moon rising or Venus signs readings as they could have more relevant and more applicable insights and information. So with our core messages, Pisces, there are times we get four very separate and individual messages that relate to very different areas of your life. And then there are times the messages can be interlinked and sometimes we even get one cohesive message. It just depends on how the tarot plays out. So let's see what you've got coming in for you and this being your birthday month. So huge happy birthday to you, my dear Pisces. So I love to see this year and I love to see this year because of course it's birthday month. So you've got closure. I love this card, Pisces, because, you know, when we have closure, here's the door. You're closing something that's done with, finished with for various reasons, and you're walking down a new road. Lovely. And we'll see what that's all about once we get the tarot. Lovely, lovely energy to see here in your birthday month, number 19, Delight. And Delight is really just that, the feelings of intense joy and happiness. So let's see what that's all about. And then you've got enough is enough. This could very well relate to our closure energy, but we will see once we get the tarot what that is all about. And then you've got the most beautiful card, blessed number 22 another very high spiritual number so there's some area that's going to come out that's going to be very blessed for you this period right let's go ahead now and get your tarot so what we will do is we will just take a tarot card for each core message and then i'll come back around again clarify even further so we get deeper insight and deeper messages as to what this is all about for you so let's start off now with closure and we've got the ace of wands can you see the synergy here between the colors of the cards it's always a big sign for me delight we've got the Ace of Swords, talk about synergy of colors. Enough is enough. We've got the Judgment card. And then Blessed, we have got the Two of Swords. So we're going to start off with this energy. We're looking at Closure and the Ace of Wands. So I'm just going to take your clarifier now so we can really see where this Closure is coming in for you, my dear Pisces. Where is this closure coming in for our Pisces, please? And you have got the Page of Wands. My gosh, what a beautiful energy. I'm actually going to try and get one more card for you because I can see exactly what's happening, but it's not giving me the details in terms of where this closure is happening. Sometimes I can get it, Pisces, and sometimes I can't. It really just depends on how the divine wants me to relay the message. So let's see if we can just get one more message on closure for Pisces, please. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, that's very nice. Thank you so much. Okay, so we are now looking at this energy. I'm just going to shift this up so that it doesn't get confusing with all this color and energy. We're looking at this energy here, Pisces. Now, Pisces, it's incredible. Okay, this closing off something and walking down a new path. 
what we are being told, that whatever this is for you, Pisces, you know with the Ace of Wands energy, intuitively, you have never felt more sure, more confident about closing a door on a certain chapter, a certain part of your life and walking down a new road. Never before has it felt so right than it does right now. Now, Ace of Wands is telling us, as you can see, her third eye is lit up, that this possibility that is now coming in for you has got you feeling so incredibly excited. That's what I can tell you here. There is such great anticipation, but with joy and excitement, wherever this new road is taking you. It's this energy. You're almost leaping for joy. The lovely confirmation that we got, Pisces, was the Ten of Pentacles. Now, Ten of Pentacles is all about your security, your finances, your home, right? It's everything to do with that. Whatever this new road is, is bringing you closer and closer to your Ten of Pentacles. Now, Ten of Pentacles is almost like a happily ever after with regards to that area of your life, being financially independent, not wanting for anything, being secure, being happy, having a wonderful home, right, where you really feel secure and safe. This my dearest Pisces, is a beautiful energy that we see for the first message coming through for you. So for my Pisces, wonderful start to your birthday month. Let's go ahead now and see what this delight energy is all about. And you've got the Ace of Swords. So now you have got two Aces, which that in itself is incredibly auspicious. So let's see what this Ace of Swords energy is for Pisces. What is this Ace? Oh, look at that. It just jumped, so we're going to take it. And it's the Tower. Wow. Do you know what big energy this is, Pisces? I feel that this, this message is very much related to what's going on here. For some of my Pisces, there is an epic change coming. But when I mean epic, this door, it's like the energy, my dearest Pisces, of closing a door on a whole area of your life. It could be the energy of, it's like leaving where you're living now and going to live in a foreign country. It's like closing the door on a profession or a career that you've been in, say, for 40 years, and either you're going into retirement or you close the door on something that you've done your whole life and you start learning something brand new. It's big energy, but it's beautiful energy because it fills you up from that deep, deep core within you. Ace of Swords is coming in and telling us that with this huge delight that you're having now, this huge excitement that we saw here, Ace of Swords brings in the energy of a breakthrough. It's like seeing something clearer than you have for a long, long time. Perhaps before you closed this door, there was a lot going on. There was a lot of indecision. And we see a little bit here of that indecision. A lot of indecision and confusion and who's doing what. And it could be with regards to the people around you. It could be regards to family, work, colleagues. I don't know. There was a lot of unknowns. And it's taken you some time, my dear Pisces, just to get a clear understanding about what is going on. Understanding who's in your corner, who's not. Who's coming with you, who's not. But you've got it. You've spent some time on it. And now this tower is coming through. Now the tower always speaks to us of a big shake-up. But this is such an interesting tower card. Can you see we've got lightning striking here and then butterflies coming out of what is like a bark of a tree. You are in the process this month of creating a massive shakeup. 
but it's a shakeup that produces butterflies. It is going to cause shockwaves. And for my Pisces out there, you're going to feel it. Trust me, you're going to feel it. Even though you are initiating it, it's still going to affect you, but in the best possible way. In this exciting, anticipating, two aces kind of way. You know, when you close the door on something that has been perhaps not good for you for the longest period, something that has just worn you down, drained you out, and then you shut the door. Can you imagine this, Pisces? You shut the door and then you move to a place that's quiet, where people are friendly and gentle and kind. Okay, I know this sounds like utopia, but I'm just trying to give you the energy that you're going to be feeling. It's like going from one extreme to another. Of course, you're going to feel it because it's so different, because you're taking such a huge leap. There's going to be that feeling of having the carpet ripped out from underneath you, but in the best possible way. And Pisces, this shock, this tremor that you're going to cause, right, this shake-up, it's going to be felt by a lot of people. There are some people who are going to cheer you on and be in your corner, and there are some people who are going to catch a big fright. And you know what I'm talking about, if that resonates with you. But it's going to bring you intense happiness and intense joy. So my dear Pisces, be prepared for this intense emotion to come through. Lovely energy. Enough is enough and you've got the judgment card. So let's go ahead now and clarify the judgment card for you. What is this judgment card for our Pisces? What is this judgment card for our Pisces, please? And you have got Knight of Swords. Okay, so we're talking about this energy over here. Pisces, I do get a big energy of you moving. Can you see here the camel and all the goods are packed on the camel's back? I think there's a lot of my Pisces who are making a big move. If not physically, then definitely emotionally. There's a big, big movement happening. I think there's a lot of moving of homes, a lot of moving of towns, countries. Really, I see big movement happening. And I also see movement of leaving behind situations and people that no longer work and no longer serve. There is big happenings here because Pisces is standing up and saying, enough is enough. I need to honor me. I need to now look and do and see what is right for me. And I have to right now say me first. And then I'll be able to look at others. Because you know, Pisces, when you look after yourself, you then have what to give to others. But if you keep giving, 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 at the end of the day, you're going to be so depleted. You've got nothing for yourself. And you realize that now. You realize you have to honor your inner soul, your innermost being. What's calling you? What's good for you? What speaks to you? This is what you have to honor. And the rest will fall into place. And I feel that you're learning to understand this. That you're really looking after yourself. And Knight of Swords says, this is the way to go. Can you see he's running towards his bike? Another fast moving card. You are now moving, my dearest Pisces. You're moving in a direction that's right for you, that speaks to you. And the rest will all fall into place. Because if you feel good, if you are happy and full of delight and intense joy, my gosh, everybody around you will feel it. So here we go. You're leaving behind what doesn't work. You've packed your camel to the hilt and off you go. I like this moving, moving, moving. 
Wow, and we're just going to have to look at our tower that produces butterflies, Parsis. Butterflies are an incredible positive sign of transformation. So you watch out for those butterflies. Right now, let's look at blessed. And you've got the two of swords. So let's see what this two of swords energy is for you. What is this two of swords energy for our Pisces, please? What is this two of swords energy for Pisces? Pisces, look at what we've got. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm so happy because this is such a beautiful, beautiful birthday month message. First and foremost, number 22, as I mentioned to you, is a high spiritual number and you are being blessed. It tells us that for some time you were quite unsure about what to do. And I think it's about closing this door, right, and creating this tower moment for you and for the people around you. But remember, we said this was an incredibly positive tower moment. And here the blessed energy comes in and says, for my Pisces who are perhaps still holding in this position of being unsure, should I close the door? Should I move on? Is it the right thing to do? What will people say? Pisces, remember this energy. Enough is enough, Pisces first then you can look at others, but you need to look at you and honor you first. Because when you do, my dearest Pisces, under your blessed card comes the sun. And the sun is the happiest, most positive card of the deck. Can you see how this beautiful, incredible energy is shining down on her and she is just basking in the glory of her blessings. This, my dear Pisces, is you this month with the absolute joy, delight and happiness and blessings being rained down upon you because you're standing up and you're saying, me first. And that, my dearest Pisces, is the biggest birthday gift you can give to yourself and to others, believe it or not. Because when you honor you, it teaches and it shows people around you the right thing and the right way to go. Love this energy. This is such an auspicious reading, my dearest Pisces. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to pull the little tarot and we're just going to take a final message on each of our core messages. So we're now looking at closure. And let's get a final message for closure. And we've got the Emperor. Delight, we've got the Hierophant. Enough is enough, you've got the Four of Wands. Right, let's just get these cards to go straight. And blessed, we've got the Seven of Wands. Right, let's see what we've got here, my dear Pisces. Wow, strong, strong energy. The Emperor is coming in, sitting on your closure card. The Emperor is telling you that this closing of this door and walking down this new road is going to put you in a position of Emperor strength. The Emperor is like the King of Kings. It's a solid, stable energy. Whatever you're doing here, my dearest Pisces, and of course, it's going to be so different for everybody, you're on the right path. Don't worry about it. You're about to build something solid, something that's going to go the distance for the longest time. Hierophant is coming out on your delight card, and Hierophant is pointing above, saying, as above, so below. Pisces, this delight... This energy here, right, what we saw here, is due to you. It's your time. It's your time to shine. It's your time to receive this 
pure delight, this pure joy, this blessing. It's just timing, Pisces. And it's just so wonderful that it's happening in the most wonderful way over your birthday period. But there's no coincidence there. It's meant to be. So Hierophant is just saying, Pisces, don't question it. Just enjoy it. It's the divine gift to you. Wonderful message. Enough is enough. You've got the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands is telling us you're going to be celebrating this month because you're putting your boundaries down. You're putting your foot down. You're saying no more of the nonsense. No more of what doesn't work, what doesn't make me feel good. No more. Enough is enough. I've packed my camel with all my goods and I'm moving down a new path. And you're going to be celebrating with those people who love and adore you and you've got them Pisces. It doesn't have to be 20 people. I always say, my dear Pisces, if you've got one person in your corner that loves you, that supports you, and that gets you, you winning. And anything more is just bonus. When you've got people around you, I can feel it. And Seven of Wands is telling us that you, my dearest Pisces, are standing strong. You are not going to let anybody or anything ruin this incredible energy. See how she stands and she defends herself? You know this is the best for you. You know that it's time for you to stand and receive. And you're not going to let any naysayers, anybody with their opinions, oh, it's not right and why did you do this? You're not having any of it, Pisces. You're like, nope. Thank you very much. I know where I'm heading. I know what I'm doing. If it doesn't work for you, well, I'm sorry for you, but I'm on my way. Pisces, I love this message for you. So, that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I want to wish you the most wonderful birthday month and I'm sending you all so much love.